If you're a non-farmer and you've watched our show for many years, you're probably wondering, how do they keep coming up with these weeds of the week? I mean, these guys must be really terrible at their job because there are more weeds than ever, it seems like. How do weeds keep reproducing and getting past all these defense mechanisms you guys talk about? Well, if you've ever planted a garden, you know that getting plants to grow when you want to, where you want to, can be a challenge, yet weeds seem to thrive all over the place. But if you look a little closer, you'll notice some weeds like certain environments better than others, and some of it comes down to how they reproduce. For example, let's talk about perennial weeds. One of the big concerns I have with some of the perennial weeds is if they have rhizomes. What rhizomes are is below ground runners that will move across and all of a sudden put up new sprouts. Canada thistle is one of those weeds that I, I know Brian and I have fought our whole lives and the big thing to know about Canada thistle is you don't want to do tillage because if you chop those roots up, now instead of one plant, you may have a hundred different plants. Yep, absolutely. And Darren talked about these rhizomes as below ground runners. There are also some weeds that have above ground runners called stolons. Same type of deal there though. We don't like chopping up these root systems because even the root systems can have growing points. Now on annual weeds, you may say, okay, well an annual weed, it just has a simple root system, right? Yes, it does. So it doesn't have the rhizomes or the stolons but annual weeds most often will go to seed. So if they produce that flower and all of a sudden they've got a seed on it, you're too late. Now you've got a whole bunch of seeds that your only way to stop that weed is to pull the weed, bag it up, and probably haul it somewhere to burn or compost because once those seeds are made, if you just mow it over or something like that, you've just spread the seed everywhere. Well, the big thing here is you have to keep in mind with plants, they really only have one mission in life, and that's to reproduce. So what we see a lot of times is even if there's a small plant that gets started real late in the season, it still puts a few seeds on. Yeah, it might not have as many seeds as a normal plant would, but it's just trying to reproduce. So that's what we're fighting as farmers all the time. These plants that are just trying to continue on, not just their life, but in the future having another generation or two or unfortunately a hundred. Well, that's certainly not all the ways that plants reproduce, but the big thing is just understanding, hey, plants are trying to reproduce. There's a number of ways they can do it. Learn the weeds that you're fighting, whether it's in your lawn or your garden or in a crop field, and make sure you stop them from getting to those reproductive phases. Well, speaking of weeds, can you identify this week's Weed of the Week? 